Okay. Uh, welcome back to the next session. Um, so we put the the participants or the attendees. You may not be wondering or you may not have any idea as to how difficult it is for the host to organize such programs. Uh, for example, say the the host, Mr. Baskerji, I could see the enormous tension and the responsibility that he he, he has. And uh, suddenly, anybody can say that I cannot uh, the I cannot be the presenter, or I cannot uh, the turn up to the speaker because I have this this program, all this responsibilities. And uh, then the the organizer cannot say no. Again, we have to change. And then what happened was that the, the speaker for the science part uh, could not attend this session. So Mr. Barker became so desperate and asked me, what do you do? I said, never mind, we have a brilliant physicist here. Professor Cicely Roy. So, given that Professor Cicely Roy uh, we have been knowing for the last many years since 2005. I think I mentioned this yesterday. And because of this, I have such confidence in his kindness and his scholarship that one, he could be the right person to speak on this topic, relative in theory. Plus, uh, his kindness, I'm confident. Um, the end that makes me feel comfortable to request it. And he accepted it. And because he accepted it, then there was no choice other than me to the chair because he had to move from the chair to the speaker. So it is a penalty on me again to the chair sitting in front of you. Okay, so the idea is that the, the topic per se is an extremely important topic. And uh, I would say that in the 20th century, 20th and 21st century, one of the greatest, one of the greatest treasures or one of the greatest legacies, or one of the greatest breakthrough in physics is relativity theory. Albert Einstein's relativity theory, uh, particularly general relativity, special theory, and more precisely the general relativity. And then the, the parallel to this, 2,500 years ago, the Buddhist Shakyamuni taught the concept of relativity, and the term, the label is just the same. The label is exactly the same. It's not special theory of relativity or, or general theory. It's not in that sense, but the theory of relativity. It's exactly the same in Buddhism. So, um, just the many people, and I won't say many, some people they are really apprehensive as to in what way this talk is going to be, um, what kind of the audience. Audience, are they ready to listen to this talk? Or are they ready to receive this talk? Because this talk is very complicated. This presentation session is going to be very complicated on relative theory. And so the point is, I would say that the how the youngsters, they are so actively take part in this, and um, their participation, the involvement, engagement, is just amazing. From yesterday, this morning, we will see that the youngsters, they are really, really very enthusiastic and um, the, the involved. So that way, why not? This very important topic that can be discussed <coughs> in this setting. In this connection, say, they, I don't want to go into too detail about the, because we have two prominent speakers here. One, relatively, uh, other Einstein's theory, relatively, uh, the Professor Cicero Roy is going to present. And in fact, you could, we must know that Professor Cicero, he is multi, multidisciplinary. Uh, one, and he, of course, with physics, quantum physics, relatively both of them, and he's also the, into the statistics. And also, um, he was involved in a number of researches that um, the, the 